For 31 years, the AAW has been dedicated to fostering creativity and learning with our 365 chapters to members across the country. When you join the AAW, you are not just becoming a part of a community of dedicated artists and professionals. You are immersing yourself in the complete woodturning experience with our online and local resources. Get started at woodturner.org to find the chapter nearest you using our AAW Connects map. This interactive map shows you the location and contact information of each chapter. Connect with fellow woodturners and gain access to hands-on demonstrations and workshops offered at our local symposiums. We are an organization built by turners for turners. We invite you to come fire up the lathe with us. Become a member of the American Association of Woodturners today. The AAW supports your total learning experience with resources provided to our 15,500 members and 365 local chapters throughout the country. Please enjoy this video tip from an AAW woodturning master. Happy turning! I've just come into my workshop this morning and I have a busy day ahead preparing tools for a class coming up tomorrow. So here I have the one-way Wolverine sharpening system and I'm having a lot of difficulty just locking this tool rest firmly in place. So like any piece of equipment, it requires some maintenance to keep it in working order. So I'm going to show you how to solve this problem so everything locks up tight, just like it did when it was brand new. The first thing I need to do is just remove this locking lever. So using a 1 8 inch Allen wrench, just loosen off the screw and then rock the lever until it's removed. Okay, sometimes that can be a little tight. Then I'll take the knockout bar from the lathe and just remove that ring. Then I need to do the same on the other side. So now that I've taken this apart, I can see what the problem is. The grub screw has loosened up over time and it's made the little hole here a lot bigger where it fits in. So it'll never lock up securely, even if I tighten up that grub screw now. On the other side, there's a new hole and that hole is only used if this lever is used on the other side. So the good news is all we have to do is just switch those around and this should work like new again. Just before I reassemble it, I can see that there's a little raised burr here, which makes it quite difficult to get this to go back into place. So I'm going to take a little file to remove that burr before I reassemble it. Just before I put everything back in place, I'm just going to remove the grub screw for a moment using a 1 8 inch Allen key, using a little bit of tread lock and that will hold everything securely in place forevermore. That should do the trick. Now let's just check these out. That locks up perfectly. As good as new.